All right, this week, New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby caught up with Giants wide receiver Paris Campbell. So it's time for us to catch up with Mr. Serby on this edition of Sundays with Serby. Steve joins us now. He just came back from Canton, Ohio at the Pro Football Hall of Fame induction. And Steve's here. Steve, how you doing? How was the trip? Well, I was not inducted, of course. You, you were talking about Klecko and Revis. Klecko and Revis, yes, the Pro yeah. Football Hall of Fame. Steve did not play pro yeah. football. We know that. He, no, he belongs no, in the I'm, long, I'm a long way from any kind of induction. I, I don't know about that. You belong in the New York Sports Journalist Hall of Fame. That is for sure. You definitely belong in that. You do that. We got we to make that happen. You're at least in the New York Post Hall of Fame. That's going to happen too. So we'll, well, we'll I appreciate that. that. Thank yeah, you. Of course. Thank you. And, now, you're in the, and you're in the SNY Hall of Fame. I, 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 I hope so. I mean, that would be nice. Now, speaking of Hall of Fame, Paris Campbell, he grew up not too far away from Canton, Ohio, in Akron, Ohio. Did being so close to the Pro Football Hall of Fame motivate his football aspirations? Yeah, he, you know, he grew up 20 minutes from the Canton Hall of Fame in Akron, Ohio. Uh, big fan of LeBron, naturally. But whenever he would visit the Canton Hall of Fame, he would be inspired by the cleats and the jerseys and the busts that were in that glass case. And he said that inspired him to keep his NFL dream alive. His favorite players were LaDainian Tomlinson, who now is in the Hall of Fame, and Chris Johnson, because Paris Campbell was a former track star in high school, a real burner. He actually was clocked over 22 miles an hour last season when he was with the Colts, when he had his career year but uh he went to saint vincent saint michael high school same high school as lebron in akron and he told me a story about the day that uh during the nba lockout in 2011 lebron comes out of the locker room holding a helmet and practiced with paris's high school team and paris marveled as everybody did because here comes a six eight guy with unbelievable athleticism and everybody agrees the guy could have been an NFL wide receiver three inches taller than Megatron LeBron could have been another Megatron could have been he definitely could have been the proximity and him getting to see LeBron yeah. that's all really interesting I also wanted to ask you about this in your Q&A Steve because you talked about Campbell's birth of his son Kai and the experience that he and his family had around that it's an interesting story could you talk to us a little bit about that and how Kai inspires Campbell well Kai uh, was born with a condition called HIE where there is a lack of oxygen to the brain and there was blood on the brain and Paris was in the hospital by himself his wife had just delivered she was not there and paris had to make a life or death decision after consulting with the doctors whether to do nothing or have the doctors put a cooling mat under his son and then monitor how he would do and paris agonized over that decision because if his son had passed away he would have been racked with guilt, thinking it was his fault. Now, his son at that point, they the doctors told him that he could have cerebral palsy. He won't be wouldn't be able to walk and he wouldn't be able to talk until later on in life. But fortunately, thank God, Kai became a miracle baby. Everything worked out. And now Kai is a five-year-old New York Giant fan who wears his father's zero jersey. And every time his father comes home and sees Kai and his little sister Skyler, you can imagine how motivated he is. I can only imagine as a fellow parent, I can definitely imagine that was a tough situation, but a really good story, a really inspiring one with Paris Campbell. He sat down with Steve Serby for his Q&A this week. It's a really good one. Go check that out at NYPost.com. The legend, and Pi, Steve, yes. I'm not done yet. I'm not. I, you're cutting me I'm off. I'm sorry. I was. I was trying to wrap up and give you a legendary uh, t toss out here, but you have more to say. Please well, you go. could. You could still give the legendary toss That's out. True. But, That's true. But don't ever cut me off like I, that, Dex. I, I apologize to the legend, Steve Serby. I'm so sorry. Well, I was just going to add that uh, Paris caught 63 passes a year ago, played a complete NFL season after a career tormented by injuries former second round pick and now in a friendly 
a, a receiver friendly offense with Brian Dable, with a quarterback who could take another step now that he's the $40 million man. Paris played with this quarterback and that quarterback with the Colts, and his production was compromised by the chaos that was going on in Indy. And now he feels like the best is yet to come with the New York Giants. He's a guy that can take the ball, former running back in high school, can take the ball on short routes, short intermediate routes, and be a yak monster, yards after catch monster. And I believe if he stays healthy, and that's his primary goal, plays 17 games plus, then he'll have a nice complimentary season to Darren Waller, who, uh, who looks like another guy who, if he stays healthy, could catapult the Giants uh, in a big way. Well, Giants fans are hoping the 2023 season that Paris Campbell has an impact on the offense, and he is a very inspiring story. Go check that out, nypost.com. Steve Serby's Q&A with him, the legend, the person that should be in the New York Sports Journalist Hall of Fame. That is Steve Serby. You're trying to, now you're trying to make up for cutting me off. Yeah, I, no, no, no. Well, I stopped making up. I was going to do that anyway. By the way, you cut me off. How about that? You cut me off. How about that? <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I would never cut you. I would never cut I you. I know you would. I would never cut you off too. What you have to say is so important and valuable for our viewers and everybody, and that's why they should go read that. Read thank your you. Q and A. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate well, thank you as you. always. I'll see you next week. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you, Dex.